Good morning. So today is a really exciting day. I am getting a consult for breast augmentation and I was originally supposed to get this in January, but I'm getting married in April. So I asked the lady to put me on a wait list and she got me in in September. I'm so excited um, because it was last minute. Julia is not able to join me for the appointment, but uh, I have Chris and Kristen coming. Kristen's gonna come in with me and help me out. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think because I've wanted this for years and I'm actually seeing a plastic surgeon now and we're gonna talk about it. It all seems super real. And I can't wait to take you guys along throughout this whole process. I know I watched a bunch of videos like this when I was doing research and looking into actually getting it done. So I want to be there for you guys if you are looking into getting it done or simply just want to see my journey. So thank you for watching. I will keep you updated on how this consult goes and wish me luck. There is a gown here and you will um, top off, bra off, this opens up in the front and then one of our nurses is going to take some photos and then go over a bunch of um, stuff with you um, and then Dr. Rhythm will come in after, okay? okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Ready to flash people. Look at this cutie with me. Alright guys, so Montana <laughs> just has the little, so you put on your surgical bra mm -hmm. and then they put in some little implants into the bra just so you can see the projection and this is so fun this is where he was feeling the most comfortable yes looks cute oh my gosh i'm so excited and these are what they were putting in her bra to play with they stick these in the bra and then it just sits it's obviously not going to be her end result <laughs> yeah. but it helps her just kind of see how much they're going to stick out Cute. Can you see how sad this is? <laughs> Don't cry. Not look. It's okay, you're still beautiful. This is just enhancing your natural beauty. Yeah. I just dropped off my big draft for the surgery. I had to quickly go and drop it off um, because my surgery is so soon. It's two weeks from today. They usually require the payment a month before, but because I was able to get in so early, I had to do it right away. So basically, that is all paid for now. I got some more instructions for what to do the day of surgery, and I'll be getting some more emails. So I'm really anxious, I'm not going to lie. Um, today I was kind of stressed. I think it's because it's really real now, like the money is gone, like I paid for it, and it's in two weeks. The lady called me today asking if I could come in tomorrow, which would have been amazing, but just with getting time off work and my fiance getting time off work, it wouldn't have worked. So I kept my appointment for October 6th. I am so nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you an update quickly. We are four days out from surgery and I'm feeling great. I'm feeling much better than I was last time. So oh, that's a relief because I had some really bad anxiety. I've actually never had anxiety that bad. So I'm definitely feeling better. I got my surgery time. It's 12.45. I guess all the pre-op situation takes about an hour and then the surgery takes an hour and then I'm there for an hour and a half afterwards. Because of COVID, my fiance is not able to actually be in the surgery facility with me so he won't be able to film anything so get him definitely to give us an update once i get out and how i am i'm excited to see how i heal i heard the first three days are the worst and then after that it gets a little bit better so hopefully that's the same for me i took a week off of work and hopefully that's enough i still have my little surgical bra i have to bring this with me and then they gave me this soap that I have to wash myself with the night before and then the day of. And then you basically just wear pajamas there that do up in the front. Good morning. Today is surgery day and I am actually surprisingly really calm. 
I am trying to stay that way. I'm not letting my mind go like the million places it wants to go, but last night I showered with the soap that they gave me and I washed my hair, I blow dried it. I'll probably just throw it in some French braids. I have my outfit ready to go and I can't have like any deodorant, lip chap, makeup, anything on my body. I wish me luck. I am really excited, calm, but nervous. I am ready to go. I have my pajamas on, some fuzzy socks, slippers, hair is braided, and I just showered, washed everything again with that soap, took out all my piercings, which looks so funny. Yeah, we're gonna head over there pretty soon. We are here. This guy gets to leave me. The day has come. The day has come. Are you nervous? No. Yeah. No. A little bit. I'm like calm right now, but I knew I know like as soon as I go in there without him and things start happening, then I'll be nervous. I'm brave. Sorry. I can do it. Okay, okay, we'll see you after. Bye. And there she goes. See you on the other side. So surgery went very well. The nurse called. She said she's happy. She's very chatty. So things are looking good. Now we're just waiting on her to come out. I think it's around 4.30. So stay tuned. Good girl. She's up. And good girl. Oh. And down with the legs. So she's not allowed to push off on her arms. That's okay. what we're talking about okay. here. So. And she can't do any housework for 10 years. 10 years. And then she must, 10 years. Then she must go shopping a lot. Yes, thank oh. you. <laughs> okay. Oh, the best, thank you so much, yeah. Karen. Thanks so yeah, much. Thank you. Take care. Okay, I see ya. With with thank, the wedding you. thank you. Yep. Karen's an absolute doll. I feel good, honestly. Is that Vaseline? Yeah. I was like, Karen, I need Vaseline. So I'm going to say this stuff now before I forget. Yeah, go ahead. So I like waited in the waiting room. And then they took me into another room. They made me swallow three pills with like a little cup of water. And I was like, Karen, I don't swallow pills. So I brought two cups of water. And then I waited, I talked to the anesthesiologist, talked to the doctor, or the surgeon. He made like squares on my boobs. And then I had to walk myself into the surgery room and freaking lay down on the table with my arms open on each thing. Like, and I was like, oh, don't move your arms. Oh my God, panic. They like put the IV in and the nurses were so sweet. I got to keep my pants on. That was pretty cool. And they're like, okay, pretend you're going to Maui. And I was like, okay. And then I went to Maui and then I woke up and apparently I wouldn't stop talking about going to Mexico. And I woke up and I was like, wow. I just kept saying, wow. I was like, wow. You feel good? Yeah. Even right now? How like, do you feel right now? Fine. I mean, there's like some pain and discomfort, but I could breathe. I woke up, minimal pain. My left incision hurts more than my right. And they were like, yeah, you did great and blah, blah, blah. And then I had to take two pain pills. I took it with that little bit of water now because I'm an adult. And I kept looking down and I was like, oh my goodness, look at these babies. And he got the big ones in, so it was a great day. I don't know why I was so freaked out. So we just got home. I felt really nauseous in the car, but I feel good now and I'm so comfortable and I just want to kind of see what's happening down there. So Julia, let's see. They feel really hard. And I just feel pressure, but besides that, everything feels good. And I feel like I'm pretty, like, alert, wouldn't you say, for yeah. all the drugs I was on or I've been given. So it's been four hours since I took my last painkillers. I haven't had to take any yet, but I got super nauseous again and, like, my whole body was so hot. But I haven't eaten in 24 hours, so Julio got me a variety of crackers. <laughs> I'm sorry for the awkward position, but this is real life. I want to show you guys what it's actually like. I have this throw up bag in case I need it. And we're watching Grace, so that's the update. Make sure that we're all going to see each other when we're not filming. It's hot. Thanks, babe. Oatmeal. We're going to try and eat our first meal. Oh, I also brought you a cookie. Oh, thank you. My first meal since Tuesday. Um, I slept through the night last night. I woke up at one to take an anti-nausea pill and a painkiller. 
and I took some again this morning, but I'm really tight, and I can definitely feel it, like I don't have as much movement with my arms as I did yesterday, so I'm going to try and eat this, take another pain pill, and then hopefully I feel a little bit more normal, but honestly, like it's not that bad, it's just like tightness and pressure, if you stay on top of your pain pills, it's definitely manageable. This is my little caretaker, Leo. He hasn't left my side. I just took another pain pill, and now I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Wow, what happened to me? She's braiding my hair for me since I'm <laughs> such a mess, and I cannot do anything on my own. Your next meal, madame. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Mm, thank you. What we got here is a little bit of KD with a very specialized cheese. Cheddar so cheese. Good. Looks delicious. It's day two. I slept through the night again. I woke up to take a painkiller. And then today, Julio showered me. That was an adventure. I saw the, my boobs for the first time and I freaked out. And I almost passed out. I had to take an anti nausea pill because I honestly, like, really freaked out. I just keep sleeping relaxing. I don't feel as much pressure, but definitely still hurts. I couldn't get the permanent marker off because I was too scared to like scrub scrub it in the shower. But Good morning. Today is day three. Definitely feel like I can move around more and I have more mobility. I can take deeper breaths now. I've had to take, I have asthma, so I've had to take my inhaler quite a bit the first two days just because the tightness and the pressure really sits on your chest and it makes it hard to breathe. I went all night without taking any pain pills. I'm going to try to slowly get myself off of those today. My back honestly is what hurts the most and I think it's just cramping from always sleeping and sitting in like a 45 or 90 degree angle. This is how I've been sleeping on my pillows so as you can imagine that'll start hurting your back. <laughs> I'll show you all my drugs. Julia's been so good. So I have an antibiotic that's liquid, I have an anti-inflammatory, a painkiller, anti-nausea, I had sleeping pills, I haven't taken them, and then also still softener, I took one yesterday, but I'll probably start taking those more today. I haven't taken a painkiller since 7 this morning, and it is now 6, so I'm taking extra strength uh, Tylenol now. Okay, so it's come down to this. Honestly, like, it's not even the boobs that hurt at this point, it's my back not stop cramping. So I watched a video and it said to support your legs and to support your arms on pillows. So we're gonna try that tonight and see if it helps. It's day four and I'm showering so I won't look like this for much longer. Um, my god, I feel amazing today, but every time I look at my boobs, I like, get really lightheaded and I need to lay down, so that's what I'm doing. I don't know, maybe because they look so funny because they're so high right now, but oh my god, I cannot wait for them to like drop into place, but whew, I just need a second before I can actually shower. But it's Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna shower, try and get somewhere ready. I have more arm mobility. And I had a coffee today, I'm just on Tylenol, things are looking up for sure, except for I just can't get over the fact of what my boobs look like when I take off my bra, it's like, shocking. And then I got Julia to check my incisions, and then like, him talking about that just made me like, so, that's where we're at today. No, you start from the ends, remember? Right. This lovely lovely chicken here is helping me so much he is uh really doing the most for me so oh. make sure that you have someone <laughs> to help you because it's a rough couple days for sure So today is day six and we are feeling good. This is Mariah, my cousin. She so gratefully drove me to my follow-up appointment. Last night I was feeling kind of like dizzy. I was feeling really dizzy yesterday. It was because my blood sugar was low, but today I haven't felt like that at all. 
So I'm gonna put this gown on, take my bra and my sweater on. So I just finished my follow up and he said that it's sitting like this right now and that's why it's bubbling and then in a couple weeks it'll be a little bit less and then six to nine months it'll start sitting like this. So right now the implant is like this and that's why it looks like it's up in my armpit. So I found that really interesting. Today is day seven. We are officially a week out from surgery and I'm feeling so good today. I haven't taken pain pills in a couple of days. My bloating is starting to go down. I was feeling like a stuffed potato for a while. I'm starting to be able to breathe a little bit better. So I have asthma, so that's honestly been the hardest part. I need to take deep breaths when I um, talk lots or walk upstairs. <laughs> this is what they look like right now and I'm feeling great. I had my follow-up yesterday and basically the doctor looked at everything. He said that they're really symmetrical, they look good, and then I booked in for six weeks out so he'll take a look at them again then. But he let me know I don't have to sleep on a 45 anymore. I don't have to wear the surgical bra. Both of those things I'm going to keep doing though until I feel like I'm healed a little bit better. Alright guys, so today is day 12 of getting the boobies done. I am feeling great. I am at work. I'm driving now. Did a little bit of cardio yesterday. I'm still taking it super easy and still wearing my surgical bra when I sleep and for the majority of the day and I'm also still sleeping on a 45. I still have the tapes on my incisions. Those come off on Wednesday and then I start using the silicone scar strips uh, once my scabbing is done. So this is 12 days after. Like I'm not using my chest muscles for anything still but yeah. Feeling so it's officially been six weeks since I got my breast augmentation and I am feeling absolutely amazing. I am so happy that I actually was brave enough to go through with this procedure because it's only been such a short amount of time and it's drastically changed my confidence, the way I feel about myself and it's honestly some of the best money I ever spent. If you are thinking about getting this done and you're nervous and you're scared about how the recovery is going to be, I was the biggest chicken, I swear to you guys, like I was so scared and if I was able to do it, you're going to be able to do it too. They are looking and feeling amazing now, they're starting to soften up, they've dropped, I can work out again, I'm living my normal life. Take this as your sign if you're thinking about getting it done to pull the trigger because I've never been happier. I will do one last side by side. Let's take a look at before, two weeks, and six weeks. video don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you're interested I can do a Q&A or do more follow-up videos let me know what you want to see and I will make sure it happens for you guys but with that being said thank you so much for watching this journey and being a part of it with me I really appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one